Well, Mark, if you put it like that, you can't beat that. With that look of his, wait. Hey, listen up. Before we begin, I have a very special message for you. It's the most invaluable thing you ever hear this year through COVID. So I hope that you stay till the end because you're gonna learn something, and this something is going to completely change your life. Watch out for it. I keep my promises. What is up, Chili Beans? And welcome back to the Chili Variety Show. I'm so glad that you're here today. If I haven't greeted you Merry Christmas yet, Merry Christmas. And if I haven't greeted you Happy New Year yet, Happy New Year. I don't know what you are doing this Christmas. I hope that you're having a good time with family and friends.、Uh, as for me, I have a few days off, so I am going to do a lot of NCT catching up. So hopefully in the new year, you'll see me post a lot more videos. And that is just to go back because I think I started from the most recent ones, and I'm now going backwards slowly. So this is one of the videos I've been really wanted to react on,、um, and I finally got around to it. So brace your seatbelts and let's get started. NCT regular, let's go. Ooh. Wow. Oh, okay. This starting scene looks like it's from the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mark looks so young there, right? Look at that.、Oh, I can't believe this was like two years ago. That tiger, seriously. Oh, this whole scene looks like it's part of like an underground drug lord then hideout. Oh, that will hurt. Nice race car. I love that choreography. Jaehyun just took my breath away. With that look of his, it's no wonder he's gonna make a million dollars. Smart. The narrow peso yen lucky arrow. That's a really, really catchy way of using the currency's name. Show me the money. Now looking back from Resonance 2020, it's obvious that they were targeting globally since 2018. They really lived up to their motto in all sorts of different languages, going abroad to America, Thailand, everything. Good on them. Tourists should compete, don't compare to me. That's a little bit of a different feeling coming from Resonance 2020 because they've just sold 1.4 million copies of Part One's album. It's not just a million dollars; it's a million copies. It's crazy. Same, only one of me. Hey, hey, how about the cool? The sky is the roof. My whole team up. We never lose. Put it so low. We do, we do. Having our cash get fresh. Looking like a fashion show. Diamonds all on my neck. Hey, I love his accent here. The way he says "looking" is really like looking. <laughs> Mark here. He's definitely like the the rich guy who's collecting money from all of the businesses. Oh my gosh! Is that a rocket? And they really blasted off to Neo Zone. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> There's Mark still with his tiger just walking there. How long is he walking his tiger for? Yeah, yeah. Dripping water faster. Splash! He's really gonna jump. Oh, it's actually Win Win. He he looks too good to die though. No Win Win. Wait. <laughs> Dude, someone just dived and they just don't see it at all, do they? Still walking around. Like this happens every day. Wow, well, Mark, if you put it like that. Oh, they're so pretty. I really like these lights. And Taeyong boys. I really like this duo with Mark and Taeyong together. They're like the perfect combi for like the rap. And it's just really good to see that over time they've still kept it up. Oh, Jaehyun. He looks so suave. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. <laughs> you know what? I think Hei Chan's the only person that realized that Win Win jumped. Attention to details, guys, is important. There's something to be said about that sort of hardworking attitude. I think it's very much part of the Korean culture. I think it's very different here in Australia. We don't have the same work ethic. We are the kind that kind of like if 5 p.m. comes, like we're thrusting out the door. In the Koreans, I feel like I see a hardworking attitude that's like not parallel, like in the Western countries. It makes a lot of sense that the economy continues to grow because of the hard effort that they put in. And I'm really glad to see this voice be an example of that. Oh, they sure make me go crazy. an incredible incredible video and you know i feel like after watching resident 2020 this feels really short i know it's not but it's just that the song is so catchy and we're used to having these long performances from nct nowadays um but it's really good to see now looking back at how they came about and in the regular era how, how the hard work there has paid off to pave the way for where they are today and i just really love that and as promised, because you have stayed to the end, I really want to tell you something that's brought up by this song. They say, if you work hard, then you can you know, earn money even globally in many different currencies. But there's something concerning about the money and financial system that we're in. I'm afraid that they don't know. The narrow peso and yen, the most biggest commonality is that they are all currencies. And over time, the problem with these currencies is that due to government overspending, they will always go to the true value, which is big. Fat zero, which means that your money is going to be worth less and less and less and less eventually to the point where it's worth nothing at all. So, this is why every year you feel poorer and poorer, and you feel like, like you know, the price of your local chocolate bar or milk or bread it has increased over the years. It's not that the, the bread costs more now, it's that your money is worth less. You need more of the money to be able to exchange for the same bread. 
if I can just plot some graphs for you and the first one since this is K-pop I want to bring up the Korean versus US dollar M1 supply and M1 is like the main money the dollar bills that you see circulating around and what you can see here in the blue is Korean won and then the dotted line is US dollars and this is how much money is circulating around so you can see since pre-2016 it's been increased Increasing, increasing, so sort that of a gentle slope almost. But then once it hits to almost like the end of 2019, close to 2020, you see it take a steep, sharp turn upwards, and you see the the like this effect is a lot more dramatic in the USA, where from 2020 a little bit after January, I guess. Um, it just spiked up to this crazy insane levels and that means that the government has been printing a lot of money uh, and it's no secret it's just on this public website that they publish it you know anybody who has the internet can access that and see what's going on and that means that no matter if it's Korea and no matter if it's the USA or if we look at another graph because I'm from Australia so if we look at the same graph midway around 2019 things went to bits government printed a lot of money back then without really telling us and then something else happened in about January February uh, the government kept printing money and it just went on such a vertical hike up there it's scary because the amount that they print that money means that you have a lot more money floating around in the system well if that's more money isn't that a really good thing no it's not because the way that it goes up like that means that you have so much more paper bills that are chasing the same piece of bread say if you have a hundred bread in store um, last time you had a hundred dollar bills so each one of them could get one and it'll be costing one dollar but now if you double the supply and now there's 200 US dollars then if you still chase the same 100 bread you know each piece of bread will be costing 200 dollars because you still have the same amount of supply of goods when you have have a lot more money supply in effect what printing money does it dilute the value of your dollar so your dollar which used to be able to buy you one piece of bread now after printing money they can only buy you half a piece of bread so it's de devalued by 50 percent you know like half and people think that life is back to normal now and um, after lockdown and they don't understand that during the lockdown governments have printed so much money worldwide it's not just one government it's everywhere um, to the point where currencies have devalued by that much already and once people really realize that um, all of these money is all there and trying to chase the same amount of goods that's when you see major inflation start to happen you know i was very shocked going into the supermarket after the lockdown um, at how prices have gone up by inflation already when this whole year we haven't really been producing anything and people haven't really been buying anything because we've all been saving money um, so how come the prices still increase is something that just doesn't make sense there let me give you a demonstration of the value what that looks like you want to talk about the narrow peso and yen let's talk about it the narrow is the currency that is no longer in use so it used to be used in spain um now it's the euro here's a chart of the euro compared to um xau which is gold like an ounce of gold a gold coin on the gold bar and we can see here from 2019 onwards it doesn't even need to be longer it has steadily been dropped quite dramatically um, which it didn't before if you look at the bottom chart there um, but now it's just really decreased so much especially from 2019 mid-year and it dropped even more further in 2020 that's your dinaros worth against gold what that means if we look at the same chart but express it in terms of euro dollars is that one ounce of gold used to be around approximately you know one thousand one hundred and 
150 euros. But now, one ounce, same ounce of gold will cost you about 1,535 euros. So that's like a say almost like a 400 euro increase just to buy the same amount of gold. So if I did a quick ratio, that means that every thousand euros you have is now only worth 716 euros. It's depreciated by about 30 percent that is a lot and a lot of euros to depreciate in within just two years that means that every year your money is de devaluing by 15 percent and if you imagine like your paycheck just shrinking by 15 percent every year this is why you're feeling poorer and poorer that is denaro. How about peso? This is the Mexican peso against gold ounce. You can see, especially in 2020, there seems to be a waterfall-like drop, even much more in, than in 2019, of the value of the peso against gold. So if you had saved money in terms of how many ounces of gold you had, you would have been able to keep the value. But now, if you only kept your money in peso, that peso is worth not a lot. If I then go to the inverse chart to show you what that looks like in pesos, that means that last time it used to cost about 25,000 pesos to buy one gold ounce, and now it's about 37,000 pesos just to buy one ounce of gold. So that is about a 35% depreciation of the peso against the same ounce of gold that we were using to exchange for the denaros before. The denaro devalued about 30%, the peso devalued even more, about 35% within two years and that is just crazy. Now let's look at the yen and you can just see the same trend all the way from mid 2019-ish. It's like a slide, it just slides down into what nothing um, all the way until the dip here in 2020 and even though it's trying to climb back you can see it's got a long way to go before it can return to the previous highs from two years ago. If you look at the chart for gold for the Japanese yen that we sang about in regular you can see we're 20 2019 is about say 140,000 give or take yeah to start off with per ounce of gold and now it's gone up to 195,000 yen just for the same gold coin same ounce of gold that means that the yen has lost about 29% of its value so out of the denaro uh, which is the euro now peso and yen the yen has actually lost less value um, because J J Japan is a place that produces a lot, it manufactures a lot, you know, so you kept doing that um, throughout COVID and throughout the year 2020 and also 2019. So you, you see that it has decreased less, but it still decreased a lot. You know, How much production would you have to do in order to match the amount of value that has been lost in your country? It's the same thing, I won't go to the inverse chart, but I'll just look at this one with you. That means that back in 2019, it used to cost 1.5 million Korean won just for the same gold coin, the same ounce of gold that we're trying to buy using the, the euros, the narrow, peso, and yen. And now, the same gold coin will cost more than 2 million Korean won just to get the same gold coin. So if, imagine if you kept that gold coin, it would have increased by value by that much because it's not that the gold coin is actually increasing by value, it's because the, the Korean won is actually decreased in value. You know what I mean? So it's like half a million Korean won. That's about 450 US dollars worth that you have just lost 225 bucks. That is way more than the gold volatility margin of 1 and 2%, you know. There's definitely a lot of money that you're losing if you're just keeping money in those currencies. 
This is a really, really sad truth. This is not something new. This has been happening throughout history. And a lot of countries where they used to have currencies and the government end up overprinting it, in the end, the value goes to zero. You get hyperinflation like Zimbabwe and uh, Weimar Republic. At one stage, Indonesian dollars, right? This is a really sad bit of history that unfortunately because the next generation is usually so young we don't get educated about all of these realities and then we just get more frustrated at work because how come we have to work so hard but all the money that we are earning buys us so much less um, this is the reason is because whoever it is is printing a lot of money and every time they print money they make your current money that you work so hard to get be worth 15 to 30 percent less you know, over a two year period. It's so bad. There's no investment, there's no bank you can put in. Say the bank is giving you interest and right now interest rates are like what? 1% if anything. If they devalue your currency by 15% every single year, there's no way uh, when you put it in your bank account earning 1% interest, there's no way it's gonna keep its value. How, how do you keep its value when you, you, you're negative 14% to start off with, you know, every single year? Ouch! This is something that is so heavy in my heart that uh, I'm glad that NCT sang about this song. I just am so burdened to share this with you. This is the reality. This is the truth. This is the, the fact that is being tucked under the sleeve. The media never talks about it. And I just want you to know, I don't want you to be oblivious about what is happening in our society. Especially my young friends who are at under 20 years old or between 20 and 27. You really want to think about how else you can keep your money safe and you need to do your research as to seeing what is more plausible i just really want to share with you matthew 6 19 to 20 where god tells us not to lay up for ourselves these treasures that are on earth where the moth rust and destroy and where thieves break in and steal the way that it is is even when you have your money in your bank account these days, someone is stealing 15% of that off you every year for the last two years and you never knew that. You know, this is where God's wisdom surpasses our wisdom because it talks about these things. And if you only just pay more attention to the Bible, it actually tells you all these things that are really relevant to your life right now. And, what, and it's actually the truth. When all currencies fail and go back to zero, God says, store up for yourselves heavenly treasures, heavenly money, heavenly assets, where moth and rust do not destroy, and there's no one who can actually successfully break in and steal. And yet the Bible also says that one day, which is not that far away, you need to realize, say if you're 20 now, if you just live five times that same length and get to a hundred years, that's when you will meet God face to face. Every single one of us is not that far away. It's not that far away. You know, this is Christmas here. Christmas means that it's Christ's birth and nobody sings about it, not even in the Christmas carols anymore. I'm shocked because Christ is King and He is coming and He's returning. And everything that He says here about your currency is going to come true. And also the things that He says about His return is going to come true. And the way that He says you should invest is also going to become reality. And those who are wise enough to actually take part of that and actually incorporate that, they will find themselves at the end of their life, they, they will find themselves rich. I'm just trying to help you be wealthy here, both in your heart and also in your actual assets. I don't want you to end up after living five times your current life or if you're 65, maybe two times your current life and then have to face your king and then realize that your whole life has been a scam. Because you're my friend, I'm glad that you watched this till the end and I know it's a very heavy topic but this is the truth. And the sooner we face and wake up to reality, the better it is for us because a lot of people are going to be really, really poor coming out of this great COVID financial reset um, because this is the opportunity that a lot of the, the, the most super elites are using to transfer wealth away from you and me. And Let's go. the quicker we realize this, the better we can prepare ourselves for it and maybe even come up uh, on the brighter side, not, not feeling so helpless. 
I really hope that you give salvation and eternity a consideration because you are created to last forever. You are created as an eternal being. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that you don't know my God, who is the Christian God and also the God of the Jews. It doesn't make sense that you don't know the one who created you and tells you this truth that when you know him and you know the truth, your heart has an anchor it can lock onto. These things don't change. It's something you can trust. So I really hope that this Christmas you will find the truth. And when you know this truth, it will set you free. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching the Chili Variety Show, and we'll see you in the new year. Thank you.